everyone, so today we are doing the 10 little secrets tag video. Um, this is quite old and I just felt like doing a little tag so this is what I came across and that's what I'm going to be doing today. So it's actually quite a bit like beauty fashion related tag video so it's not really like secrets but yeah, I think it's a cute tag so hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So the first question is what is the one product that makes you feel like you are a million dollars? And that is definitely red lipstick from MAC the Ruby Woo. Uh, this is like a new discovery ever since Christmas and every like night when I'm out and when I just want something extra and I really want to feel special like this is the lipstick I would choose. It just is very bold, very bright, very dry but it just looks so great on the lips and it's so comfortable to wear and you don't have to worry about it like getting all over your teeth and stuff so I really really love it and the smell of vanilla that all the MAC lipsticks have is just incredible and I love it so so much and definitely my favorite red and I feel like it would suit a lot of different undertones so definitely if you're in a hunt for a very good red lipstick I would definitely recommend this one. The second one, what is your skincare secret, a pass down skincare tip? So definitely my mom has very dry skin and um, I have kind of combination skin, sometimes it gets really oily and sometimes it just doesn't and it's really dry and sensitive so like one skincare tip that has definitely been passed down even for my grandma is to always 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 moisturize your skin that's like the tip I was taught ever since I was like a really young little girl so I feel like moisturizing is the most important part of any skincare definitely cleansing obviously especially if you wear makeup you don't want any build, build up in your pores but moisturizing is really crucial because I feel a lot of people really do over dry their skin and that causes even more like skin concerns so a good moisturizer is always is a staple in my skincare routine and currently my favorite one is the FFR Duo Plus with a very gentle cleanser before and a makeup remover it just it really does balance out my skin perfectly even in the winter months so yeah the new formula the plus formula is definitely really amazing and definitely one of my new like skincare secrets okay so the third question is to share your hair care secret and honestly my like hair care is very basic I'm not a hair person I will just you know wash it two times a week definitely not washing too often is very good for keeping your hair very healthy and not too frizzy um, obviously if you have very oily hair you can't do it but my hair can go like about two to three days without washing so that's good and um, definitely like when you have as long hair as mine tangles are the worst thing ever and I hate getting tangles in my hair and it annoys the hell out of me but my secret weapon for that is actually my tangle teaser and this is like the only hairbrush that can really really detangle my hair without any pain whatsoever it's just it's so 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 nice and I love it and yeah it doesn't like break the hair it is very like a good good hairbrush that is safe to use like all the time and I usually just pop it in my purse and whenever I feel like my hair is kind of doing all sorts of things because I feel like I always get tangled like right behind here and it is so annoying so um yeah this whoops sorry okay I just dropped it and this hair is this hairbrush is really amazing for sorting it out and I feel like ever since I've been using this one it doesn't get that tangly so definitely that's like a secret weapon for is to share your biggest diet rule and no rules in my diet um, I'm a very active person I'm outdoors all the time I walk a lot I stress a lot about everything so I guess I mean I have a fast metabolism so I, I don't really have a concern with my weight at all if anything um, I have to like be careful to maintain my weight and not lose anything so yeah I don't really have a good like I mean um, I don't have like a dieting tip but I definitely would suggest like eating really healthy I'm uh, I was kind of raised in a family that we eat really really healthy so I really tru truly believe in what you give your body is what it craves so I, I eat really healthy so I always kind of crave really good and healthy stuff so I don't really have a problem with like bad eating habits and I feel like if you do have those problems if you can kind of get your mind out of it and really you know start living a better lifestyle then your body is really after some time you know it's probably gonna be tough in the beginning but after some time you're really gonna kind of implement those changes in your life and you're not gonna regret it or like 
want to go back to the old ways. So definitely, you know, try to make a good change. Try to do something better for yourself as far as your diet goes. And after a while, it's just going to be very normal for you and you won't feel like you did anything drastic in your regime. You're just going to feel a lot better and healthier. So yeah, I guess that's like my tip. Not really a rule, but it works for me. Uh, fifth is any workout tips. Um, I used to be very sporty, I still am. I am a total tomboy when it comes to sports. I love handball, I love athletics, I love all sorts of sports, skiing, you name it, I love it. Um, I used to train handball, I used to train high jump and I was very good at it. Um, I used to be a show dancer, so like I, I did a lot, all kinds of sports, I even did like um, ballroom dancing so I did like a lot of stuff so um, definitely like try to find something that makes you happy when you do it I don't think like gym is for everybody I know I'm not really a gym person I love yoga I love Pilates that's what I currently do just because I don't have the time to really like train a certain sport but I mean there's so many like different things you can do I don't think it's really that hard to find something that you feel comfortable doing for like activities so definitely try experiment I tried a lot of different stuff because before I found like something that I'm really really good at and really enjoy it that turned out to be dancing for me but yeah just you know try experiment and um, yeah your body's gonna thank you later definitely sixth is which perfume is your secret weapon currently my absolute obsession is my Chloe like original perfume. I wear it all the time and I always get asked like what I'm wearing. It is a very florally fresh sweet scent. It definitely is very sophisticated. It's not one of those like overpowering sugary scents, but it has that kind of rose sweetness to it that's very fresh and floral, but I love it so so much and um, yeah, I wear it like every single day and I love it. Um, seventh is to show a clothing piece of yours that will always uh, turn heads. Um, honestly, this was like a very hard one just because I don't like to wear anything too flashy. I wear very simple clothing all the time, something very comfortable as you can see. But like one piece, I guess, I mean, it's definitely not like a head turning piece, but I love my leather um, leggings from Benetton. Um, I love them so, so much. I got them like for, uh, at sale for, uh, for New Year's Eve and I wear them all the time and I feel like leather pants they just look on so many different like body shapes and they just make you feel really comfortable but they look very kind of put together so that's I guess like my favorite type of clothing piece when I want to like look a bit more, I don't know, dolled up or something. So I love that one and it's so comfortable and I highly recommend having like a leather pair of leggings in your wardrobe because it's definitely like, it's a good piece to have. Eight is to show you most treasured piece of jewelry and I like to change up my jewelry quite a lot but currently I've been really, really, really into my uh, Wee Moments um, necklace that I got somewhere around Christmas, I don't know. And it is just a really, really, really nice kind of statement necklace and I wear it like all the time and I love the color combination because you wouldn't normally like like think of pairing pink with red and white and purple and blue so I just think it's a really really interesting piece and I love wearing it with very kind of plain tops it just adds something different and I absolutely love this one so ninth is who is your style crush and I wouldn't say I really have one um, usually when I'm kind of I guess on a hunt for like some style inspiration, I will go on We Heart It, or even if I'm not, I'm still gonna go on We Heart It. I love quotes, I love beauty posts that they post there and stuff. So um, definitely, you can find so many like different inspirational things there, including outfits. And you can like some days I'm gonna feel very edgy, some days I'm gonna feel more like romantic and girly. So it all kind of depends on how I'm feeling, and I feel like if you stick to like one person that has like a specific style, you. You don't really, really feel inspired to like step out of your box, so yeah, I really love We Hearted for like all, all sorts of things, but definitely like fashion inspiration is one of them. And then the last question is to tell you something that you don't know about me, and um, this is definitely a very hard question. Alright, so something like in this kind of beauty fashion thing um, that you guys don't know about me is that I actually had very short hair 
for the majority of my life and um, it wasn't like until high school that I really kind of started to grow up my hair it usually was like right up to here like maybe something like this so yeah and sometimes I really do miss having my hair really short and I'm sometimes kind of like on the fence whether I should like cut it or not and yeah I definitely do enjoy like having long hair but it can get very like hard to maintain and stuff so yeah I don't know but yeah, so I did have like a very very short kind of layered hair when I was younger and um, yeah, so that's the little like secret that you haven't known about me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tag video, it was kind of fun to film and I love tags so if you have any like other requests just leave them in the comments below so that I, I can put them on my list and do it for you guys and I'll talk to you guys super soon in my next video. Bye!